Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Wednesday, October 7th. 2020 and this is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update we have very important news to go over so make sure to stick around until the end in today's video we're first going to go over how suddenly yesterday afternoon president donald trump ended talks with democratic leaders on a new stimulus package just hours after federal reserve chair jerome powell just had his strongest call yet for another stimulus package. Then we're going to go over the series of tweets that President Trump said yesterday where he officially ended talks on the second stimulus package. We're going to go over exactly what they mean and why he said this. Moving on, President Trump's tweets caused a lot of confusion and caused many people to question his health because he just tested positive for the virus. And finally, GOP Senator Susan Collins, who faces a tough re-election battle in Maine, came out after President Trump's announcement yesterday and said that waiting until after the election to reach an agreement on the next stimulus package is a huge mistake. We're going to go over all of this and more, but before we get started, it would really mean a lot if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to do so, and it currently says about 50% of you watching are not subscribed. So if you'd like to stay up to date on the second stimulus check, second stimulus package, as well as other news updates, then please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget, you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you download the Weeble investing app using the link down below and get $20 when you download the M1 Finance app as well. So suddenly yesterday afternoon, President Donald Trump ended talks abruptly with Democratic leaders on a second stimulus package hours after Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell just had his strongest call yet for a large second stimulus bill to avoid damaging the recovery. In his tweet, Trump said, Nancy Pelosi is asking for $2.4 trillion to bail out poorly run high crime Democrat states, money that is no way related to the virus. He said, we made a very generous offer of $1.6 trillion. And as usual, she is not negotiating in good faith. Then he goes on to say that he is rejecting their request and looking to the future of our country. I have instructed my representatives to stop negotiating until after the election, when immediately after I win, we will pass a major stimulus bill that focuses on hardworking Americans and small businesses. Moving on, he goes on to explain how he has asked Mitch McConnell not to delay, but instead focus full time on approving his outstanding nominee to the United States Supreme Court Amy Coney Barrett. Our economy is doing very well. The stock market is at record levels. Jobs and unemployment also coming back in record numbers. And finally, he ended by saying that we are leading the world economic recovery and the best is yet to come. So this series of tweets came as an absolute shock to millions of Americans as well as lawmakers in Congress. Lawmakers didn't see this coming at all. President Trump just simply tweeted this out of nowhere. The first reason why this came as an absolute shock is because just a couple of days ago, Trump had tweeted for Congress to hurry up and get a stimulus bill done. When Trump was at Walter Reed National Medical Center over the weekend, he had tweeted that the country needed a second stimulus package and that the two sides should work together and get it done and get a bill passed already. Trump had seemed very adamant about Congress agreeing on a second stimulus bill, and that made sense because a second stimulus package will only help his re-election chances. A bill not passing will definitely hurt his chances, and he's already behind significantly in the polls. So a lot of analysts say this isn't making a lot of sense, and it may just be a negotiating tactic. On top of this, the second reason that his sudden halt to stimulus negotiations came as an absolute shock is because just yesterday morning, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, had his biggest push yet for a second stimulus package. Powell told a virtual conference hosted by the National Association for Business Economics Tuesday morning that even if policy actions ultimately prove to be greater than needed, they will not go to waste. Even if they pass a larger bill than what the economy needs, the money will be in good use and it will actually help the economy long term. He basically said there can't be too big of a stimulus package. The bigger the stimulus package, the better, the more it will help the economy. He explained how too little support would lead to a weak recovery, creating unnecessary hardship for households and businesses, and how he believes we need more stimulus 
immediately. Next up is President Trump's tweets caused a lot of confusion and caused many people to question Trump's health, including Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi said in a statement, clearly the White House is in complete disarray right now. She goes on to explain that the president walking away from stimulus talks demonstrates that President Trump is unwilling to crush the virus as is required by the HEROES Act. Pelosi later speculated to her Democratic colleagues on a conference call that the president's sudden change from just saying on Friday that they need to get a bill done to today saying talks are over might be connected to the steroids he's using as he battles the virus. She goes on to tell her colleagues that, believe me, there are people who thought and who still think that steroids have an impact on your thinking. So she can't say for sure if that happened to Trump, but it definitely is a possibility. Ultimately, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi who had been leading Democrats in negotiations with the White House, spoke with Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin later in the day on Tuesday afternoon after President Trump came out with his announcement and confirmed that the president had walked away from the talks. And finally, GOP Senator Susan Collins, who faces a tough re-election battle in Maine, came out after President Trump's announcement and said that waiting until after the election to reach an agreement on the next stimulus relief package is a huge mistake. She explained how she has already been in touch with the Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, one of the chief negotiators, and with several of her Senate colleagues. But on the other hand, while she thinks we need more stimulus right now, Mitch McConnell, who spoke with Trump shortly before the President Trump's announcement, said he agreed with Trump's decision and that he thinks Trump's view was that they weren't going to get a deal done and as a result they needed to concentrate on what was achievable which is focusing on the supreme court justice nominee right now so ultimately we will have to see if this is just a negotiating tactic by president trump or if we will truly have to wait until after the election either way this doesn't look like good news for a second stimulus package in the short term it still might not affect it in the long term because trump said we'll see an agreement after the election but in the meantime it's going to leave a lot of americans struggling anyways that's just a quick update on what's going on with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $20 when you download the M1 finance app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.